Come on in. Good morning and welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer RV. My name is Katie O'Neill and I am so excited for today's video. Uh, you can find me at uh, TTTRV or RVs Inside Out, but always the best way to get in touch with me, shoot me a text, 303-562-8659. Again, 303-562-8659. And for those of you who have sent me a text and maybe I haven't gotten back to you, I was camping last week. Um, so, you know, don't be afraid to remind me that I might have missed something while I was out of town. And also, sometimes we just get so busy in our day to day you know, I've got to triage what I respond to, and if I get past something that might be important, I'm always happy to hear from you again. Uh, now, I mentioned TTTRV that's at uh, YouTube. So is RVs Inside Out, R-V-S-I-N-S-I-D-E-O-U-T. Those are the two places where you can just hyperlink to all of our videos here at Trans West Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. Now, if you look below though, uh, just right now you're at a Facebook Live show, you will go below, you'll see that there's actually links to our website. And I have over 130 videos as it stands to date uh, that are live um, recordings that we have had, you know, since I started working here. But there are so many hundreds of videos by other talented members. Um, Brian Moritz is one of my absolute favorites, Grant Russell. So if you don't like what you're hearing here, understand that there's a number of different people who can give you great information and might be a good fit for you. Um, and today, if you are not interested in hearing about my camping experiences and how they're relevant to this RV and what I might like and what I might change, tune off because I'm gonna go over some of the things that make this RV fantastic. So Jody, as usual, RVs inside out. I like to start from the inside out, take her on back. Um, and let's take a look at this fantastic 2022 Numar Essex floor plan 4551. Uh, I am so in love with this Alito decor. I, you know, I'm not a huge fan of uh, the red woods, but this toffee glazed maple with a matte finish is just so classy. Um, this has got to be one of the most stunning RVs I have ever uh, actually been a part of. And so to Tom and Mary, thank you so much for allowing us to make a video of your coach today. I hope that you're watching live. I know we just hung up. Uh, but it's so fun to kind of show people why these RVs are so spectacular. Uh, so Tom and Mary picked this RV out from scratch. So uh, this is a 2022 4551. When we initially started talking, we were talking about a London Air, and I said there's a lot of reasons to consider an Essex. So let's talk about some of those things. So first of all, floor plan isn't one of them. You can have a London Air in the 4551, you can have an Essex in a 4551, or you could have the King Air. Um, so that floor plan isn't unique to this uh, to this model, but what is really, really nice about this is this Alito decor. And I was just telling Jody, take a look at this shower pan. It's funny, I'm actually building a house and right now I just realized that in my bonus room upstairs above our garage, I'm using the same tile. It is so beautiful. I just love this classy look and this all full tile set shower. Um, I love these towel bars on the exterior of the doors. And what happens with Numar is of course, as you go up in product, you do get things that you wouldn't normally get in different lines. One of them are these towel bars. Another thing that comes in the Essex that's really nice is your wall mounted uh, shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. This is just such a great luxury. Um, another fantastic uh, b benefit in the Essex is this rain head shower head. I absolutely love the height of this. I'm wearing really tall shoes today. I am not 5'9 or 5'7, I'm like really 5'4. But as you can see, I have really tall shoes and I'm still able to sit, sit on top or underneath uh, the shower head. And on top of it, when I sit down on this teak bench, I have a really easy uh, mounted, uh oh, just dropped something, um, rain head here that I can use as well. So I can use both the hand wand, which is on an adjustable lever, uh, if I wanted to sit down and take a shower, or I can sit directly here under the rain head. Um, these assist handles for getting up, they're just nice to have. Um, they are optional features, but below them you'll see this beautiful inset of this gem tile. Just really, really nice features. Um, another thing I think is really nice about the Essex and the um, big showers like these are these extra shelves here. So you can keep your razor, your toothpaste, maybe some extra face wash. And then there's another one down here below as well. So 
All of these little extras are so nice. Now you'll note that we have a little bit of a different control panel here um, for hot and cold water. And then this is to turn the AquaView system into recycle. And then this is to turn it off. This light just indicates whether or not the water is hot. So please note that that does not turn the recycle off. So we did have an instance where a client had left the recycle on and he was plugged into city water. So it was actually taking the water out of the coach and pouring it into an already full tank. And he couldn't understand why it was pouring out from underneath the coach. It's because you, after you get your water hot, you do want to turn that manually back over. Um, and that is that shower miser system. So this water saving system is super nice because it'll allow you to save your gray water. You've got 105 gallons of fresh water, but really where your gray water tank uh, fills up, you know you've got to go dump your tanks and that's going to be from taking a shower or from doing laundry, running your dishwasher, those types of things. So the shower miser system is a really fantastic advent and that's in a lot of our RVs. So even if you're looking at a Ventana or a Dutch Star, that's just a nice system to have. So now that we've talked about some of the benefits in the Essex shower here, um, something I don't have that I really love is the robe hook. I think that that's a, just a wonderful thing. And then you'll notice in this Essex, um, first and foremost, they have one woman who does all the finishing and she has worked for, for Newmar for years, but you have these beautiful rounded cabinets. So these maple cabinets are just that much more luxurious, um, that much more personalized and, and you know, um, how shall we say, here's your plugs underneath, uh, maybe more opulent. So this is a very nice high level finish. And then as you can see here, you've got full extension drawers. They're all soft close. And you've got three of them here in the center. And then another huge storage area underneath for towels. Another thing that's super nice about the Essex is that you've got this fantastic backlight mirror as well as vanity lights above. So you've got the puck lights and the mirror behind so you can choose between lighting. Um, now you'll note that this is not a medicine cabinet. This is just the on and off for your Whirlpool washer and dryer. So uh, instead of having the typical Splendide, you have a Whirlpool washer and dryer here. Uh, just a few more extra settings. And I love the way the door opens the whole way so you have access. And then this is a really nice place just to keep your dryer sheets and um, any of your laundry soap, etc. So fantastic here, of course, washer on the bottom, dryer on the top. And keep in mind, you know, washer and dryers aren't just for laundry. They're for keeping your dirty laundry. So if you have like a campfire and your jeans smell like smoke and you don't want to, you know, leave them in the RV because they're kind of smelly, you can put them in the washer or the dryer to keep them sealed and they won't smell up your entire RV, which is so nice. Um, so we love that. Another thing that's really nice, so of course we have our medicine cabinet with another two 110 outlets. So we've got six outlets just in this area alone. Um, and fantastic vessel sinks, really beautiful high-end faucets. Um, but one of my favorite features in this coach and something that I've really learned that I appreciate is the ability to dim lights. So I can turn off all of these lights, as you can see, and we're gonna go ahead and go dark, turn off the mirror lights, and then I've got my courtesy lights on. So I have courtesy lights that I can leave on at night so that I can see where I'm going, and they're just illuminating right here at the bottom. So really, really nice feature. So for somebody who wants to be able to see what they're, what they're doing at night, but won't necessarily want to leave all the lights on, you can do that. But you also could, di you could dim. So I can make this a like, lower light setting or a higher light setting. So depending on what time of day it is, I can change it. Oh wait, did you see that, Jody? Okay, so if I, if I leave it closed, you can see right here, watch this. When I start to open it, you'll see the lights are gonna pop on. So once again, lights. So all of that lighting comes on automatically when I open my closet doors. And of course, at the Essex level, you get this beautiful uh, closet with tons of shelves in the 4551, but you also get, of course, your special wood finish, uh, which is going to help prevent against moths. The, sh the staple comes standard. And then also this fantastic shoe closet is standard, and you'll see that there's a double bar here as well. And again, this is the Alito interior. You can see just a, this is your carpet. Of course, with the Moore floor, we don't have a lot of carpet. Um, and standard in the 4551 floor plan with the Essex, you'll also have your egress door. Um, you know, I don't have an egress door. 
And honestly, this is a great place to load linens that we just washed all of our sheets and all of our towels from our camping trip. And we're kind of tripping over each other back and forth in and out that main door. It would be so nice just to have Jason come over and hand me all of our bedding and I could have put everything back together. So just like little nice features, maybe not necessarily because there's a fire, but maybe just for the convenience. Um, and so also I think when you take a look at this tufting, like so this is like this beautiful um, soft finish. Um, with just, just a very, very high level of decor in the Essex. So love all of these features. Now, as you'll note, this fantastic porcelain tile floor is absolutely gorgeous. And this is a three zone bathroom. So I'm sorry, three zone heated floor. So this whole bathroom is heated, including this engine cover that I'm standing on. This is also heated. So super, super nice. And then these cathedral ceilings, which you can really see here, um, bring that height up so that we don't need to have um, a little, whatever they call it, a little skylight above the shower. We can have this beautiful cathedral ceiling. So for those of you who are tall, this is going to give you plenty of room to shower, 83 inches to be honest, or to be exact. Now, all of that being said, I love this smoked mirror with this wainscoting. Again, uh, this is the toffee glazed maple matte finish. It is absolutely so incredibly decadent. You have that on both sides. And Jody, I failed to show this, but I'll show the exterior of this door. You have also, look at that, complete mirror the whole way through. Uh, so nice. These are such big solid doors and there's a full length mirror uh, all the way to the floor in the bathroom as well. So not only do you have full mirrored finish in the wall, you also have one on the opposing side of this door. Now you'll note here that we have the wireless charging ports and then also underneath here, two USB ports and a 110 outlet. And what's so nice about that 110 outlet is that that 110 outlet uh, has a little cutout right here, which is so convenient because it will allow you to, um, to run your cords through so you can keep your uh, audio video stuff. Or if you have a, um, any kind of uh, sleeping device that you need, you can also use that to plug in. And I'm gonna show you here underneath, I'm trying to figure out how to do this gracefully. I dropped my mic, here we go. Um, show you underneath here. Let me move the sleep number control. Great place to be able to keep your CPAP machine. So on the right hand side, right here, you could run your CPAP machine and store it there and also have your cords with the door closed. And then underneath here you'll see not only do we have our additional storage, we've got our table leafs and then our two additional chairs that come with a Eurobooth dinette. And then take a look on either side at these windows. You'll see that you have both windows open, which is so nice. Uh, so you have cross ventilation available in this coach, not only between those two windows, but also uh, you'll have cross ventilation coming through to the other side because this window over here opens as well. And I'm gonna go ahead and put the shades up. This is another great feature of the Essex. So all I've got to do is hit Day shades and they all come up at once so this is a really really nice feature now you'll notice so not only is this open but I also have uh, one of the carefree awnings deployed here I really like these carefree awnings one of the nice features about the carefree awning package is that you can leave this out it's pretty windy today so I actually uh, did go ahead and put the Gerard awnings in so if it was too hot and sunny but it was still blustery I could keep this deployed and keep it nice and cool in here um, of course, everything here is carpet lined, which is so nice. And then also on this side, you'll see that I have an extension. So another little cubby here. And then I have my, this is my shade control. So this is where I would operate my carefree awning package. I also have an HDMI cord and that's all for your smart KTV. So your Samsung TV is a smart TV. And then you have your Bose soundbar as well. Um, I, I'll tell you, the Bose soundbars are fantastic. They are probably one of my favorite features um, that I hadn't known about in the past. And we're actually, we're putting in a theater system downstairs in our, in our basement. And they said, well, do you want the in store, you know, in ceiling speakers? And I said, no, I just want a sound bar because I can stick my phone to it wirelessly. I can listen to my, you know, all of my um, playlists and favorite songs or my kids can sync up their phones and listen to their playlists. And it's just really convenient and small, so I love that feature. 
Now we're going to take a look here at this uh, control panel. So these silver leaf control panels are really big difference makers for me. Um, this is absolutely something that changes the game. Now when I go to home, I can see my fresh black and gray tanks. I can see my batteries. I can see what's going on with my chassis. I can see my generator. I can see my AC power, power if I just touch here and see what I'm running, what I'm bringing in. I can also see my DC, what I'm using. I can I manually start my generator. That's how I started it today to run my air conditioning. I get all of my water once again. I can turn the water pumps on and off. I can set my autofill. I can adjust my climate control either by zone or uh, just in all, I could do the entire coach. I also have my block heater. I can turn on and off from my bedroom instead of having to go up front. I've got this set to store right now. Now you could also set this to off and then you could also bring it all the way up. So you, depending on what your motivation is, let's say you're staying somewhere where it's really cool and you want to keep warm, you could warm your coach with your electric heated floors. Now please and keep in mind, these are the electric heated floors. So when you hear hydronic heat, which this coach has, it's different than your electric heated floors. Now the camera system is super cool. As you can see, Avon has actually gone through and opened all of my bay doors. So if I heard a noise underneath like we just did and I wanted to see what was going on, I could look outside of my RV in the Essex without actually ex exiting the vehicle. I can also control my TV lift. So I could put my TV lift down. I could go into my interior lights, my exterior lights. I can control my shades. I also can control my awnings. All of that from this button here. And then I can also make sure that my doors are locked or unlocked here and I can lock everything and alarm my coach. So these are all features that are unique to the Essex and on up and also very, very nice uh, features for somebody who wants to spend more time in their RV and maybe it doesn't, you know, feel comfortable getting out and going to see what that noise is when they go bump in the night. You would love to have that camera system. Uh, not only that, you could use this uh, same feature that you saw here on the Samsung tablet that comes with this coach. So you could do that from the comfort of your bed, from your bedroom or the front of the coach. So these are all just little conveniences that make a huge difference. Now I know we already looked under the bed, but let's go back one more time and take a look at these little spotted glowy lights that you see. Again, these courtesy lights are so attractive and there are so many dimmable, nice lighting features throughout the coach. It's really important to show these because when I'm out camping in the world and I'm looking at things that I like and don't like, I go, gosh, it's so nice to have that silver leaf system where you could actually dim everything and where you can set it so that you've got a nice, you know, warm glow at night. Um, just out of the convenience of, you know, when it's really dark and you still need to be able to see a little bit. Um, it's so cool when you're out in the world and you're camping and it is pitch black. You know, it is that dark. Now, while I pull this bed in, we're going to go back and talk a little bit about hydronic heat and how that works. So with hydronic heat, um, the way that that works is you basically have a tube of antifreeze that's being heated with your tankless hot water heater. Now that tankless hot water heater is the same hot water heater that's heating your hot water with your Aquaview uh, hot water heater system. It's just, it's got its own tank of uh, antifreeze and it's running in a tube underneath the coach and it's allowing it to get really hot and then it forces the air over it warming your coach. So that's going to be your hydronic heat. You also on a 45 foot coach with Numar get a bunch of different features. One of them is 150 fuel capacity. So 150 gallons of fuel, uh, you can run that burner system off of your diesel. So you don't actually have to be plugged into 50 amp. So you've got AC one, AC two, and then burner and burner just sips diesel. And with 150 gallons, if you want to go boondocking, this would be a fantastic coach. As you can tell here, very, very quiet inside of this RV. Well, I am running that 12.5 kilowatt Onan diesel generator to run the air conditioning. It would also allow me to heat the coach. I could do all of that without ever having been plugged in. So that's a very, very nice feature again with the Essex. Uh, now you'll see that we're pulled in here on the bedroom side. So one of the things that's nice to note about this is First of all, this feature ceiling. So this is one of the things that I really love about Numar is they cover all of your air conditioning returns and vents with these beautiful feature ceilings that really just tie in all the opulence with the coach. The other thing I really like about them is I love the way they separate your space. So this is a very nice, heavy, full closed door. So I can go ahead and keep you know the party going up front. Maybe my husband wants to go to bed. Um, it's really easy to separate living spaces, which is super, super nice. And you'll notice here that we have this um, 
whole entire room is still open, that's because this entire wall is a full wall slide. Very, very nice feature with the Essex. Um, gives you a ton of extra room. Now something that, again, is one of those nice features, I open the door, the lights come on automatically. When I put the car in, or the coach into drive, this bar will come over and lock these cabinets automatically. So on the uh, Dutch Star, for instance, I would have to do like a push to release where you push in to release. On the Essex, they just come right out. They're not push to release, but you will note that there is still that dovetail finishing throughout all of the cabinetry in this RV. And again, these are all hand glazed and they're done all at one time hand glazed and they're done so that they'll match so that you get this beautiful warm uh, toffee color throughout the coach consistently just absolutely decadent um, the refrigerator is our same whirlpool that we love to use uh, this is a great refrigerator i will speak uh, very highly of this i did a video on a supreme air last week and i didn't have this set so i could show you where this little guy drops down but I have to tell you, like when you do have a bottle of champagne or Prosecco, it's super nice. And this drawer also holds so much meat, so much cheese, all your bacon, your hamburger, your hot dog, and then you've got your individual drawers for all of your vegetables. This is just a really fantastic residential refrigerator by Whirlpool. Uh, so we use this all the way through the 2022 Essex line. When you go into the King Air, you move into the Wolf. Uh, so that's, that is a difference worth noting. Now here you've got your automatic ice maker, and then you've got your deep storage here, and of course we're going to also have our Dometic outside. And at the Essex level, just like you would see at a custom home, you have a custom finished refrigerator. So these wood panels are so nice. Another thing that you'll find at the Essex level going into the kitchen is that we've removed the, the uh, standard uh, watch or clock that we have in here and replaced it with this beautiful tiled, uh, mirrored tiled uh, brick on this uh, passenger on driver's side. So that's also very nice. Um, one of the things I think is so fantastic about uh, this Essex is the way these windows are set. There are very, very demure valances. There's not a lot of decoration to them. Uh, so today what I did is I took all the pillows and put them on the bed and I left everything out so that you could see how beautiful and opulent this is, but also how customizable to, you can go get your own adornments. You can go get your own splashes of color. You can really make this environment one that you like for yourself. So it's so neat that, uh, that they are able to give you such an opulent feel without overwhelming you with a particular pattern. Um, so if you wanted to change, for instance, and maybe hot pink was how you were feeling that summer, but next summer you wanted to do bright orange, you could bring in all sorts of fun different colors. Or if you want to keep it more subtle and do more of a beachy vibe, you could do you know, more of your whites and light grays. So I think that that's fantastic. Now again, so we talked about, uh, this is an extendable Euro booth dinette. We saw the uh, two extensions underneath in the back. So it comes all the way out. I don't want to drop this down. This table leg would come and support this. But as you can see, really, really big table, but plenty of room uh, for 20, plenty of room for two people here to eat on the regular comfortably. And then if you wanted to bring your extra chairs, you could very easily seat six um, and or four. Now inside here on this window, you'll note that there's two USB ports as well as two 110 outlets, which is really nice if you're going to be using this as a mobile workstation. Some of us do have to work. And then there's storage underneath in both of these booths. And there's a little bit of storage underneath this dinette as well. So Mary, if you're watching this, I'm opening all of these for you so you can figure out what to bring. Great place to keep some of those um, Pimpernel, Pimpernel placemats. They're cork placemats that are hard. They would fit right there. You could have easily a set of six and they would uh, stay right in place. It'd be a great place for those. Um, now, to continue on with the kitchen, really love little things like this. Just makes it for a really nice finish. Again, all dovetailed uh, throughout. Nice little tall compartment there for your large bottle of Belvedere. No, I'm not kidding. I don't know what you would put in there, but that could, that could work, I guess. More dovetail finishing, another great small drawer. This is that vent for the aqua, for the aqua hot. So I'm sorry, not aqua hot, but the Oasis. So that hydronic heat comes out of this. Uh, and on that note, aqua hot and Oasis are the two manufacturers that do hydronic heat. And Oasis is predominantly a marine grade um, hydronic manufacturer. They only work with Newmar. So 
one of the benefits of getting a Numar is that you will be having the Oasis system. And this is a dual loop Chinook system, and so it gives you better zone control. They're also very reliable, so we have great success with the uh, Oasis system. Now here underneath, you'll see we have a stainless steel trash can. I think I make jokes about that in some of my videos where I say, you better give me a nice trash can if I'm buying an Essex, because uh, they are quite a bit more than my Superstar was, for instance. Now, great place to store your sink covers. Also, you'll note great access all the way to the back without having to get down on your hands and knees. Because as you saw earlier, I got stuck trying to get up. <laughs> Did you catch that on video, Jody? Good, he's so good to me. Uh, so this beautiful stainless steel, uh, stainless steel sink undermount is different than what you've seen in the past. If so if you have watched a few videos, uh, this is the replacement that we chose. Uh, it's a single basin, very deep, with a beautiful uh, you know, residential faucet. Again, Silverleaf controls the whole way through. And one of the nice things about this is I can go through here and just check, I can turn off my kitchen lights. So if I wanted to have like a nice glow, maybe I'm cooking, I have access to everything here. So I've got these Silverleaf panels throughout the coach. And I cannot wait, if you, if you tuned in from the beginning, you've already seen the exterior with the Alito, but the Alito is such a beautiful color. Uh, both inside and out. Little spice container here. This is a great place to keep all of your spices. And then you'll note here that in the 2023 Essex, this is one of the sad things that we'll lose. They go to um, a different Bosch uh, induction cooktop. And I really love this true induction. One of the best features of this, uh, and I actually have already asked, so if you are ordering an Essex from me like this, this is a special order. Um, I've already asked to see if I could still have this true induction, which is removable, because this is like one of my favorite features in my Superstar. It's real. I mean, you don't want to make trout in your RV. You don't want to make bacon in your RV. You just take this outside. You don't have to have special pots and pans. You can use it outside or inside. Um, I really love it. I don't know why they changed it. I think it's perfect the way it is, but you know, those engineers, they know what they're doing at Numar. They do a great job, so give them the benefit of the doubt. So you'll see here, if I wanted to have my cutting board on one side but not the other, I could just flip those. There is a cutting board on both. Uh, this is the optional kitchen window. I think that's an absolute win. Also, a Fisher Paykel dishwasher, plenty of room. Uh, this is where you load your soap. Um, I just use those little Tide Pods. I got a pack at Costco. And you put them in there and they do, they just disappear. It's kind of cool. Uh, we also use it as a drying rack if we're not doing uh, a lot of dishwashing. And then you'll see that there are four remotes because this RV has four 4K smart TVs. Um, also two remotes for your sound bars. You've got a sound bar remote for the bedroom and then you also got one in the Essex for the front living room as well. And then here, oh Jody, I am remiss. We have not put the island out. Full extension drawer for your island. And I love the way that they've done this so artfully because of course this extension comes in and out so they can't put the drawers all the way to the edges but they don't make you notice that it just blends right into the cabinetry. And I do just absolutely love the countertops in here. They're really beautiful sparkles and I have them on my RV. Uh, the one thing I can say for them is that they're very easy to keep clean looking, which is important. Um, now I know I've mentioned that this is a bath and a half model but before we get to the half bath, we're gonna go ahead and leave the kitchen area and we're gonna come in here and do my favorite thing and the number one reason to buy an Essex. So I go here to systems, I push theater mode and it all comes to life. This is so cool. All of those lights come on. Now you'll see that these are all set so like your accent lighting and the ceiling is got a beautiful soft glow. The TV's coming up, uh-oh. <laughs> my, uh, my shade's hung up up front. Uh-oh, there we go. Get that bad boy down. Uh, so as you can see here, I've got this fantastic glow. So all of my pillars are just very softly glowing from behind. Everything in my ceiling has got this beautiful soft glow and I am all ready to watch a movie. This is so fantastic. So my 50 inch uh, 4K smart TV popped right up. 
Um, I've got plenty of room. I can seat three people on this 87 inch high to bed sofa couch. I've got plenty of room for a few more guests sitting at the booth. And I can also turn my driver and passenger seat around. So this could really be a very nice place to all gather together as a family and watch Stranger Things, which is what I did when it was raining every afternoon in Estes Park while I was camping. Because of course it was like 90 all day and then right about four o'clock it would rain for about an hour, hour and a half. Perfect time to prep for dinner, watch an episode of Stranger Things and then as soon as it cleared up we were back outside barbecuing. So love that. Um, now all of that being said, one thing that I'll tell you I really, really like about the Essex that I don't have on my coach is this ability right here. So I'm going to go here to house, hit shades, and I'll just do day shades. And I'll pull the night shades too so you can see both of them. And I'm also going to go to system and put my TV lift down. So really, really cool to see this. Now if you do look outside of this window on the right hand, or I'm sorry, on my right on the driver's side, I should say, uh, you can see that I've got that carefree awning deployed. So that's super nice. The carefree awning is again, just a great package. It's going to keep the sun out of the coach. So you're going to be able to see what you're doing um, during the day with your, you know, with your windows being wide open, but you're not going to lose uh, the benefit of that shade. It's so nice to have the benefit of the shade. And if you see these little dots here in the middle of the glass, that is because these are dual pane windows and that is just a little safety feature that separates, keeps that glass uh, separate so that in the instance of a strong wind, they won't make connections. So if you see that, that's what that's for. Okay, so we've talked about the sound bar up above. I don't, I don't know if I got that cabinet. If I didn't, there you go now. Again, Mary, here's all the storage for you. Um, someone mentioned earlier that they had a 2019 um, London Air, it's actually a gentleman who I ordered a Superstar, or a, I'm sorry, a Supreme Air for this weekend. Uh, he had a 2019 London Air, maybe it's an 18, but it had those old, like the little latches, and he was super excited to see the magnets. So I didn't know that they had ever, I, I never really paid attention to that. Like again, today's video is gonna be really a lot about just talking about creature features and benefits, HDMI controllers for the TV in the front, as well as the one that's right here. And then of course lots of outlets and satellite receiver stuff. This, co this coach is equipped with the, uh, the DirecTV satellite, the SKM 300. There's also an SKM 100, which is going to be for dish. Um, if you have the SKM 300 and you want to, you know, to convert it over, it's about $1,600, but it can be done. Okay. So let me grab some of my stuff. We're going to start working our way towards the front. We're going to talk about some of the other benefits that we have um, in this RV. So first and foremost, again, USB ports, two 110 outlets here as well. And then again, two more USB ports, two more 110 outlets. Again, uh, these, uh, this is not the um, jackknife. When you do the hide a bed sofa, you get these great little seats. And I always wondered, like, how do you put them down? Well, you just pull it in. Um, I did that today on purpose because last time I got it stuck and I was like trying to pull this thing, nothing's gonna happen. You just lift up gently, put in place. It's not exactly the most demure thing to have to like do that. I'm sure you could make it look a little bit better, but that's how it's done. And these videos are highly instructional. Okay, so things I love about my RV, the Ottomans, we really use these all the time. This is a great place to put a drink, to have a uh, TV tray, to have a stack. This is a great place to keep your legs nice and comfy. So if you were thinking theater seats, you might even order an extra two ottomans. I mean, you could have four ottomans and everyone could have their own feet, their own little, own little space, but really, really like that. Um, now I mentioned earlier, Grant Russell, who's a fantastic veteran here at TransWest, always tells you don't put the feet on the couch, he makes indents. He gets really upset about it. So Grant, I learned from the best. Ottomans always go upside down. You'll notice that this says Villa. Uh, that is the manufacturer of the interiors. It, during COVID, it was really hard to get furniture out of Villa. Um, and it's so nice to have them back because they make a super solid, consistently soft, very nice uh, furniture for us. So we really, really love our Villa furniture. 
and I'm gonna stack my cushions. If you watch a lot of my videos, you know, I do like connected cushions because they're easier to stack. But in this Essex, they actually fit pretty well all in one place on this table if you're putting the bed out. So this is what I've discovered is probably how I would stack them, Tom and Mary, when you have friends over and you're making their bed. One of the things I really like about this hide bed is the way that it comes out. It actually is going to be folded in half instead of coming out threefold. So you have a little more room. So first of all, flip this little guy down and then pull up. See which side the release is right here. And then it comes out. And there goes my mic again. And here you go. So what's nice about this is if you did have company and they were tall, you could have them sleeping diagonally or long ways um, from the front to the back. So from the north of the coach to the south of the coach or vice versa, as opposed to outwards. But what it does is it actually gives you quite a bit more space to walk through here, but still giving you that same amount of room. And like I said, I'm not that tall, these are big. But even if that was that big, this is a lot of room on this couch. Again, this is the 87 inch high to bed sofa and there's theater seats and uh, the reclining seats and all sorts of things optional. But I really think that it's just nice if you end up having an unexpected guest to be able to give them great accommodations. There are three seat belts back there as well. And as I mentioned, pretty cool place to stack everything with these cushions on this table. Now that dinette is the Eurobooth dinette, so it does not convert. So you're not gonna have anyone sleeping there. And if you do, it's just because they had too many margaritas. All right, okay. So let me just make sure we cover up the springs here. Put that back in place. One of the reasons I do these uh, videos this way is to show you what's available, but also, I mean, how things assemble is actually really important. I'm gonna put my, Avin, if you can't hear me, let me know. I'm putting my remote in my pocket because it keeps falling off. Um, okay, but no, so it's just nice to see how things work. We're good, thank you. Um, because when things are easy, for me, it becomes an attractive purchase. When things are difficult, it's not an attractive purchase. And one of the things I can say about this Essex is this is a beautiful coach. Um, and so for instance, look at this, I just lightly turn up my wall lights. Just a very soft glow. Um, so simple. I've got so many controls all over the RV. I can also download the app, do it on my phone. Um, but I mean, just super simple. And another thing that's really important that we don't cover often is in here. These are your books. And you know, I felt like I was kind of remiss. There's a whole way that they're labeled with plumbing, heating and AC, exterior electrical and appliances. What's so nice about this is as you are actually trying to operate your coach, if you have a question, Numar has an 800 number for the Essex. Uh, the person who answers that Essex phone number, I wanna say it's Mitchell, but let me see who it is to make sure I'm not wrong. Oh, here it is. Yep, so Josh Mitchell. Uh, answers Essex questions. But if you can't get a hold of Josh and you send him an email, because you can send him an email right here to Essex service at numar.corp um, or numarcorp.com. What's nice about that, that, that whole group of books is they're really easy to navigate and everything that you need to know about this coach is right there. And Numar does a really good job at making it easy to access. So you're not having to like hit the panic button. Now, what we do here at TransWest that's really different is we have a gentleman by the name of Bill Habercorn. Bill Habercorn is fantastic. Um, I call Bill all the time. My clients call Bill all the time. Bill knows my clients better than I know my clients because they call Bill because Bill answers everything. He, I call him in my phone. He is known as the everything man. He knows everything. But when you buy an RV from TransWest truck trailer RV here in Frederick, Colorado, you also get Bill's contact card. So not only do we have Josh Mitchell from Numar, 
who has a phone that is forwarded after hours for emergencies to help you help work on your Essex if you need, you know, a slide is stuck, you can't get your jacks up, whatever that might be. We also have Bill Habercorn who can help you as well. So fantastic service. Now, um, all of that being said, you'll note that right past here you see a few RVs down in the campground. Um, these are uh, RVs of guests. One of them, the first one there, is a, is a renegade Verona that I sold. Actually went camping. Ken came up and hung out with us over the weekend in Estes Park um, for the 4th of July. My RV is down there, but if you come in for service, you can camp here. We've got 50 amp and 30 amp plugins. Uh, we've got a number of sites. As you can see, we lock this gate at night, but it has its own access point. Uh, but after you come in, you get your full orientation. It could take anywhere from an hour to three hours. And after you have your orientation, you can go over here and plug in, get everything loaded, set up for the evening, spend the night, get your sea legs on, spend two nights. You can spend as many nights as you like. Make sure you understand everything before you hit the road so you're not, hey, thanks, nice to meet you. Here's your million dollar RV, good luck. You know, we're, we're here for you throughout um, the entire purchasing process. And we've got people like Bill, Tim Frank, uh, Wade Phoenix, all of the support staff that you'll need to make sure that you're having a really fantastic experience in purchasing. And um, the Mondays are coming out to pick up their coach and when they do, they're actually going to have driving lessons. Um, and the driving lesson is fantastic. It's a whole day from 9 o'clock in the morning till 3 o'clock in the afternoon. It's a few hundred bucks. Um, I think it's about 400 right now for a couple. And they'll get to learn how to drive, park, steer, you know, make sure that they can maneuver into a parking spot, the whole thing um, before they hit the open road. So that's just a super great feature that you can also have here at TransWest. Uh, that company is an outside company, but I'm always happy to share that information with you. So if you'd like a driving lesson, give me a holler. I'd be happy to give you um, Tim's card. Now let's talk a little bit about extra storage up front. Once again, love the way they do these false cabinets. So they make great use of all of your storage. But as you all know, you always need a place to put like your wallet and your sunglasses right before you walk out the door. You can also, since you've got the keyless keypad here, uh, put your keys up here, lock the door with a button on the outside, but know that they're sitting here when you come back in. Great place to keep, you know, your hats, a few extra water bottles if you like. Of course, if you're gonna watch the abs win the Stanley Cup, you could do it here on this big screen TV while you're driving down the road. And then here is the brains of the operation. This is that silver leaf screen, so this is a second location. So above and beyond on the Samsung tablet, you have two of these. You've got your Gerard awning control that also is available with a remote, which I have over here on the uh, stoop. I can show you that. Uh, your wine guard system here is this is like a tent antenna. You also have the Wi-Fi, and then this coach again is equipped with the uh, SKM 300 for Direct TV. Uh, here we have all of our routers turned on. Our step is locked. I've got our exterior LEDs turned on. These are our slide controls. Uh, these are just the awning controls to cover the, for the driver's side and passenger side window awnings. And then you have your, uh, your, your uh, privacy shades all right here. But as you saw, you can control those with your app or you can control them right here with shades. So very, very nice that you've got all of that access. And then security lights, I'll turn those on. And then I'm going to go ahead and just show you this one last compartment. And then I think we looked at this when we were looking for that phone number, but we'll just go ahead and pull these up again. And then we're going to go ahead and bring the slides on in. Oh, shoot. Okay, you know what? I'm not going to forget the half bath, Jody. Thanks for reminding me. I'm just going to show everybody how easy it is to access with the slides in. <laughs> so Jody is always taking care of me. This of course is a bath and a half model, which is one of the reasons it's such a uh, popular selling floor plan. In my uh, bunk model this weekend with uh, the three 15 year old girls camping with us, we really wished that we had had an additional half bath uh, because yeah, they spend a lot of time in the bathroom. It's so weird. I have no idea why you would need to take so much time getting ready to go camping, but that's what they do. Um, so. <laughs> Let's go back and see. Oh, they would love this. Oh, security system right there. Um, here we go. Look at this half bath. So one of the things that's super nice about this half bath is, um, first of all, you have all the same decadent features like the mirror lights you have are inset. You also have the vanity lights that go up over the top, which of course you don't have both of those in the lower level coaches. You get, you know, the vanity lights. 
so really nice. The girls would have loved the lit backlit mirror. Oh my god. Uh, two USB ports as well as one tens, and then a great medicine cabinet. Um, I love this tile uh, glass tile backsplash, and then of course we have here one of our favorite features is a little pop down with your one tens in it. You can pop it back up it's for storage, and then here is your. Uh, towel storage for underneath. Your toilet paper can go right here. You do need RV toilet paper even though we have the SantaCon system. Uh, here is your kick plate for your central vac. And then your hose attachments go here. Uh, in this coach with the more floor, because in, in Dutch Star Up we don't have carpet. You don't really need this as much, but this is where you would put your hose attachment in. And then here we also have more storage. And then a very nice drawer. And these are touch. Um, one of the things I think is really cool is if your um, black tank is full, this will turn orange. So you know, when you sit down, if you look and you see the orange light, you go, ooh, I shouldn't go potty before I dump my tanks. Just nice to have a visual. Um, I also love the way that these undermount sinks uh, in the mid bath are flush and there's no seam here to have to clean. So again, just absolutely beautiful. And then the brains of the operation are right here. So all of your breakers are very, very well labeled. Dishwasher, mid-air, inverter, floor heat. So all of your breakers are right there. And then on top of it, we do have uh, two Penguin um, air, rain sensor uh, little air fans. And one of the things that's nice about these fans is that um, they're in both bathrooms. So you don't have to worry about, well, just grossing out your guests, I guess. Um, but super nice. And then you have a silver leaf pad in here, which also is going to allow you to have complete control of the coach. And keep in mind, this is with the slide all the way in. So this is the access that I have to my refrigerator. Oops, unlock. So I can open my refrigerator doors. I can open my freezer. Close the door, have full access to my pantry. So all of this stuff is uh, this accessible. This is the smallest portion of the coach right here. Um, now I will pull in this other side now that we've done that. Oh, here's that Gerard awning control. So sound bar control, lots of controls for those who are controlling. This is a very good coach for you. Okay, so passenger side in. So as you can see here, this um, more floor is possible because of this HWH hydraulic slide so the slide actually comes up hydraulically and then comes in and that's what allows us to have tile and then this is an electric slide on this side if you are interested in having a booth uh, opposite of the uh, kitchen and you want to have your dinette on the passenger side the 4533 would be your floor plan just so you know there's four floor plans for this essex um, now we're going to go here into the front and we're going to cover a bunch of stuff so two monitors really big deal uh, this is a very very nice feature you could have one monitor going down the road where you can see what's going on behind you and still have access to your radio and all those other things navigation so i love having two monitors that's very very cool uh, we also have the optional uh, sirius satellite radio on this you've got your mobile eye control which is super nice of course it's not on that's your little receiver for mobile eye right there um, so when we talk about mobile eye and uh, the lane tracking here in the Essex, you have your turn indicators. Am I started? Maybe I'm not on. Oh no, she's mad at me. Okay, so I'm gonna probably turn the engine off because I have my HWH uh, jacks deployed. But so you can see your turn indicators there in the mirror. And you can also see that your camera for your side view is actually integrated into the mirror there as well. And you can also see that you've got this fantastic glass dash. And one of the things that I really like is you've got TPMS um, for your tires. And then here in settings, I can actually set my comfort drive uh, to be whatever setting I like. And I'm going to turn this off now that we've been able to see that own oh, speed. So there's how many miles per hour you're going. Um, so comfort drive uh, paired with your lane tracking package. Um, if I'm leaving the lanes in this coach, it actually will vibrate my seat. 
and let me know that I'm out of the line. It's just giving me kind of like a, hey, you need to wake up. And I know a lot of us are accustomed to that in our vehicles. So very nice to have that consistent level of technology in this. Um, also, you've got that adaptive cruise. You've got automatic high beams. Um, there's just so many nice features in the cab of this coach. Now, this of course has 1,950 foot-pounds of torque. So for those of you that want that 605 ISX, which is this Cummins engine that's powering this beast, um, that is here on this Essex. Um, the 1,950 foot-pounds of torque, um, you know, you've got a 20,000 pound towing capacity, but it's really the ease of towing that you have here that's very different. And then you've got a Kurt Spectrum integrated brake controller, which is really, really nice. And not only that, you have the ability where you can actually set the load for your RV to be heavier in the front if you've got a heavier payload in the back so that you even out the uh, capacity of the axle. So you can actually balance this coach so you've got an easier ride going down the road with a stacker behind you or a heavier trailer. Um, for flat towing, I mean, you could really flat tow so with a, a gas bay star. So for flat towing, it's not such a big deal. But for those of you that are towing a heavier payload, this is a really nice engine for you. Really, really great feature. Um, and you know, the ISX from the ISL is a huge difference in, uh, in power. But what's really nice about the ISX is just how quiet it is and how powerful it is off the line. Um, the other thing that you've got is the air leveling. So if you don't want to level this coach with your hydraulic jacks and you want to do something a little bit easier, you can air level this coach when you're fairly flat. Today we are using the HWH hydraulic system to level the coach. So you'll see that outside. I've got the jacks deployed as I mentioned earlier. Uh, and it's just, it's really nice to be honest with you. Uh, this weekend we had a situation where my coach had quite a bit of pitch and we actually wanted to kind of give it a little extra boost on one side and they level when you push the button both uh, the front and rear at the same time so it doesn't ever get wonky or off kilter and we were able just to raise it up and get us just right into our camping spot and it was really impressive to use that HWH system. Uh, Numar is partnered with HWH for over 30 years now. That's what allows us to have that hydraulic slide giving us the more floor our leveling system, and then also our fantastic HWH step, which you'll see when we exit this coach as well. Um, okay, so push button start, another thing that people I think really, really like. Um, again, we have access here to our generator. Um, we can start it here. We can start it at any of our electronic pads. We can start it outside. Um, we've got our navigation system. Uh, in, 2000 and, or tw in 2022, uh, we went to Nav and Go um, from the previous Red McAnally. Um, I gotta tell you, it's a great system. It works really well. I still use Google for traffic, but it's been great for us. We like that a lot. And then on our camera control, you can see I've got all these different places I can look at stuff. And one of the things that's really nice is I've got the front camera and it'll come on here. Um, but I also have like the rear view camera. I've got a, I've got, I've got a tri view uh, system. So one's down, looking down so I could see what's below me. One's looking back. And then one is going to be for uh, for trailer set, so I can actually get my trailer loaded up onto the RV. So, really cool. And then the overhead camera is so nice for parking. Um, so if you think you might be running over a rock or that there might be something in your way, you can actually just stop and look and see, make sure everything's good. Um, and then here we're going to go ahead and just take a look in our little stowage compartments. So we got his and hers, of course. I would get the one on top because I'm in charge. Huh, honey? Yeah, he's like watching the video saying, oh gosh, be quiet, Katie. Um, ah, oh, I'm not on. Okay, so these are the controls for your pedals and then to adjust your uh, your steering wheel. Um, these are your hazard lights are back here. If you didn't know where those were and you needed to use them, that's kind of a nice thing to know. Um, power windows, uh, left and right mirror control. This is that Kurt Spectrum brake, uh, brake controller. You can turn it higher and lower here. And then you've got your wireless charging docks on the passenger and driver side as well. Your brake, um, you can see here, you've got your engine brake, high, medium, and low. Very nice, and it's either on or off, so that's all right here. You've got your 4000 mh uh, Allison transmission, so the big dog here for Allison. Um, you don't really need to dump your tag manually. You can do that right here. There's a manual dump. And then there's also an auto store, and this is where all of your leveling set um, is on. One thing that's nice today, this little light was orange and this little light was orange because this coach had been tilted to the front and right. So the different lights will illuminate telling you in which direction the coach is actually tilted if it's not level and then you'll know that you should level your coach. Um, so 
Again, we have our keyless go, so we don't need to have the key in the ignition. Um, but you also have power uh, locks um, both inside of the coach, as I showed earlier. You can also use this remote. And then you also um, have the keys, of course, to lock them manually if you'd like. This is for your deadbolt, but very nice little system here. And now that we're kind of done in this compartment, what I'd like to do is go ahead and turn the, I'm gonna turn the um, RV on and turn the generator off because I do want to show you where your 12.5 kilowatt generator is. But when I turn the RV on, it's going to make a lot of noise. Yeah, it's gonna be mad. So we're gonna go ahead and go outside. Here we go. Okay, so great screen. Um, really nice, you can actually put things through the top and bottom and then there is a shade here that locks. And then again, here are our great steps. So these are the HWH steps. And here's this beautiful Alito exterior. Let's go ahead and close that. Uh, this is, I think in my last Essex video, I said that this is your, uh, your sonar for your blind spot assist. It's not, it's your flagpole mounting bracket. So if you didn't see that already, I'll just go ahead and fess up. This is where you mount your flagpole. Uh, we've already talked about these chrome convex mirrors and we've talked about our integrated uh, camera here, which is nice. We also have um, a full paint finish on the exterior that also comes all the way in and paints along the sides. And so when you have your RV out and you're camping, most of the time your slides are out. So it's really important, you know, Numar actually paints the interior of your slides as well so that when they're out, they match the coach. Uh, you'll notice here, I could actually put my clipboard underneath this tire. Um, so if you take a look at the foot of this uh, HWH uh, jack, very, very cool hydraulic leveling system. Um, of course, this coach is quite a bit off the ground. Uh, we do have 150 gallons of fuel on this tank. Um, it's a dual fill, so there's one on each side. And we mentioned earlier that you could leave your keys inside and just use this control pad to lock your door. You also have a doorbell, as you probably heard when Jody rang when he came in earlier today. Um, and then here, we've got a new feature for 2022. We added this little tray above your Dometic freezer, so you're making good use of all of your space. And this is the new upgraded freezer. This is actually programmable, so you could have it set to have both sides cool or freeze or one of each, whichever you like. And then we've got our 110 outlet as well as our uh, nine volt right here. This is to power the Dometic. This is the CFX model, but you could also use that to inflate your, um, your paddle boards, which is really important to me. Um, now you've got 80 gallons of gray water in a 60 gallon uh, black tank here. Oops. And again, you've got your power glide system. So a thousand pound capacity. And then there's some extra porcelain uh, floor tile. If you need to replace that plank tile, of course you saw how beautiful that was. You've got all of that, but you'll notice this comes out to 60%. So even if your slide was deployed, you'd have very good availability to uh, go ahead and put those slides in and out or get your stuff in and out by pulling out these uh, trays so you'd have full access to all of your stuff. If you had your uh, barbecue on there or your chairs, anything along those lines, you would be able to access that even with your slides deployed. I'm having a hard time with doors today. There we go. So this one also, another larger easy glide slide, again, tray above. And then one of those things that you know we, we should always mention is here you can see the star foundation. So the star foundation and really uh, is unique to uh, to Numar, what they do is they actually take that heavier weight, you know, where your slides are here, and it takes that, that, that weight and it pushes it down towards the middle of the coach, giving you a uh, much less tippy coach. You've got much better support for your heavier slides. It brings the coach off of the chassis rail so you don't get, um, first of all, you get much bigger bays. So these storage bays are huge uh, from a height perspective, but on top of it, um, 
they are able then to set the floor and they assemble your entire tile floor on a huge table that they then heat. Um, and after it cures, they clean off all of the grout and then they take that table or that uh, floor and they mount it separately onto the sub base of your RV. So there's two different components and that helps to prevent tile popping and cracks in your floor. And really is just very remarkable for also keeping your coach much cooler in the summer and warmer in the winter. So there's uh, about a three inch sub layer in the Essex uh, between the floor and uh, the, and the bays. And then these are all controlled by a thermostat. So if it gets too cold, they will actually warm with your, uh, with your hydronic heating system. Uh, here's where you have access to your road vac. Those are your tubes down below for your uh, central vac for inside. You could also use those outside to vacuum off your child or your dog. And then over here on the left, those are your awning controls. So you have the remote as well. You also have the buttons out here on the outside. So if you don't want to bring your remote outside and leave it on the picnic table to never be seen again, you can always access your awnings right here uh, from outside in the coach. Uh, here we have, of course, a very nice place for your top shelf booze and then your mixers down below. Or you could keep tire shine in there if you really wanted to, I guess. Boo. Um, and then here, this tag axle. So one of the things that uh, we did in 2022, I shouldn't say we, Spartan did for us, is they went from a 10 degree pivot on your rear tag to 17 degrees, giving you even more um, of a nimble uh, execution for parking with this huge RV. So this is an any. So this is a forward rotating tag. It does not move, but the Audi actually pivots. There's actually a little rod that removes and allows the tire to pivot and gives you, and this one's actually kind of actually pivoted right now. I can see it's kind of tagging in a little bit. Um, and that's just from when I was parking the coach to stage it for the video, but very cool under 20 miles an hour. It gives you that flexibility of having an even better turning radius um, and easier job parking. You also have a dual fill DEF system here. So you've got a 15 gallon DEF tank. And then here on the back, you also have access in the Essex to your air leveling system. You can actually air those up manually from back here. That's a very nice feature. Um, if your airbags dump too low, sometimes they have a harder time engaging. So what's really nice about this air leveling system is that you don't have to worry about it. You can actually go in there, get some air in those bags, and then when you go to reset it, it'll be able to read and get you back on the line. Um, here are your two chassis batteries. Um, one of the things that's super nice about Spartan is that Spartan puts everything in one bay. So you have all your batteries here, you got your air dryer. Uh, the air dryer system needs to be changed every, I think, two, every two years. So it's just really nice to have great access to that. You don't have to come into a service center, you can do it yourself. You've got your separator there. Everything very easy to service all in one bay. That's something Spartan pays a lot of attention to. Uh, they do a great job for us. This is the K3 chassis. Um, the Spartan K3 chassis is uh, so fantastic and so robust. As you can see here, you've got your brake line um, already wired. So you've got your air brake. Very easy system to integrate into a flat toe. Uh, you've got your camera up here for your rear view backup camera and then another one up top. And oh, look at I have my turn signal on. <laughs> That's funny. That's because I have the engine on. Uh, so I can show you this, um, this generator later. But um, so to get in here, and I'll caution you when you're going to go into these rear comp compartments, make sure you're down low because they will whack you in the head. Um, so I've gotten used to that. As you can see, here's the beautiful marriage that ISX to the Spartan chassis. Uh, everything in red, of course, is Cummins. Uh, so we love that. Very, very nice to see. And then uh, you'll note one of the nice features about this uh, RV also is that you have a side radiator. So your radiator is here on the side of the coach. We start that Dutch star on up. So that's a nice feature. A little easier engine access. And then this bad boy here is actually part of your lane tracking package. <laughs> so before I thought it was the flagpole, but there, there are sensors all over. There's actually eight on the King Air. Uh, this is your deaf fueling center. Again, this is the Alito exterior. It is so beautiful. Um, these Alcoa rims, 
Uh, one of the things that's nice about having an aluminum rim is that the steel rims tend to get hot and they're noisy. These are nice and quiet. They stay cool. Uh, this is a great place to store some gloves and a gravity hose if you'd like. Some people prefer the gravity hose to the SantaCon system. Uh, this coach is equipped with the optional SantaCon system down below. You can see that here. Uh, you also have your outdoor style, uh, shower and you have uh, both a gray and black rinse on the um, on this 2022 which is really nice to have a gray tank rinse as well um, what we do in ours is we actually wait we don't uh, dump our gray even in a sewer we leave it full and then we actually let it get full and when we dump our black tanks then we dump our gray tanks that way it gives it a little extra swish cleaning out those bays all that much easier in this Essex you don't need to do that you've got a black and a gray tank rinse which is really nice and you'll also notice that this looks very different than what you would see, for instance, in a London Air. This is a mana block system, so this mana block system is very nice. You can shut off all of your hot and cold water individually to each individual portion of the coach. So if your water is down because there's a leak in one place, you can stay out camping. You've of course got your water tap here, and then a power uh, hose reel for your fresh water fill as well and then a digital display out here. And you can't see it, but this is actually a digital display outside right underneath the paper towel dispenser. And over here is of course your whole house water filter. How do you improve on that? You buy a King Air and you get one that is UV. Uh, but really, Newmar puts a water filter on all of their coaches. Ready? I'm telling you, I'm having a door day. There we go. All right, so uh, your 50 foot power cord reel is right here along with your surge protector. This is your coax cable uh, input. So, for, so I had someone ask me last week where that was. We keep it right down here. Uh, here's your button for your generator. You can start and stop your generator right here. Easy access outside, right next to your power cord. And then also your power cord retract is right here. So very cool little bay there. Uh, there's your Oasis system. So this hydronic heating system again, is the real powerhouse behind all of your hot and cold water, behind all of your hydronic heat. This is a great system. And again, this dual loop system that's new for 2022 is fantastic. And it's very reliable. Um, and I think that that's something that's very important to understand because, you know, at the end of the day, if you don't have a reliable hydronic system, you don't have hot water. <laughs> hot water is important for showers, at least in my world. Um, as you can see, lots of storage the whole way through. Again, these still go out the whole other direction to 60%. And then this coach is equipped with eight AGM uh, batteries. So this is 800 amp hours of battery in a 3000 uh, watt uh, Xantrex inverter. This is a really, really nice system. It will not power your air conditioning unless you're plugged into 50 amp or you are um, running your generator. The way that our power systems work in the RV world is the first, the first line of power is always going to be the generator. So if the generator's on, the coach is gonna be running off the generator. The next thing that'll be running off of is 50 amp. So if you had 50 amp and the generator running, it would still be using the generator. Um, next would be 50 amp. And then below 50 amp, you would have battery storage. So this coach came with a pre-wire. We've added uh, four panels to the top of it. So it's got 700 watts of solar. That's gonna get power going into this coach and going into these batteries. It's not enough power to run your convection cooktop, to run your microwave oven, but it is enough power to run your refrigerator. So if you were to leave, maybe go for a nice six or seven hour hike with a dog, and you wanted to keep your or your refrigerator running, you know, so your, everything didn't melt while you're gone, you could have enough power for that. Would it be enough power for you to you know, maybe run um, all day with your TV, all your lights, like go full camping, you might need to set your generator to come on. But we have Autogen Start for all of these generators. So you can set it so that when you get down to a certain amplitude and it's too low, it'll automatically kick on that generator for you. Um, 800 amp hours of battery power is really, really, really nice. In 2023, they have a, um, a, a system that's standard on the Essex that's 640 amp hours. You can buy a third battery to get you up to that same you know, amp hours is actually a little bit over like 900 amp hours of, of storage. But um, keep in mind, this is a lot of battery storage. And one of the benefits to the London Air in 2023 is that you don't have to have that uh, lithium ion battery set. If you don't do a lot of boondocking and you don't need to have 
lithium ion batteries, it's a very large expense that you can mitigate in a, in a London Air, but it will be a standard feature in the 2023 Essex. So uh, if you're concerned or you've got questions and you want to talk more about that, please reach out to me. Um, I've got lots of information I'd be happy to share with you. Uh, again, 150 gallon dual fill tank. Here's my turn signal indicator. We can see them the whole way down the coach. Kind of fun to show it on accident. I didn't really mean to do that, but you know, if someone is trying to, you know, make a lane change, it's nice to see that it's very evident that you're trying to change lanes. Now here, this is the reason I have that horrible beeping, which you can actually hear inside. <laughs> this coach does not like it when you have your engine on and your jacks deployed. It will not let you uh, make that mistake easily. You're gonna have to fight. But so here's that 12.5 kilowatt uh, Cummins generator. This is a fantastic generator. It is also one of the things that's really mitigating our ability to, be, to build big coaches with Newmar this year. If you want a Supreme Air or a London Air or an Essex, um, make sure you get your order in early because 12.5 kilowatt generators are in high demand and low supply. And we are able to get chassis. It's really the generators that are mitigating our ability to sell as many RVs as we like this year. We still have allocation, but when we're out of 12.5 kilowatt generators, you're gonna be looking at a Dutch Star uh, as opposed to an Essex because that's the generator that comes on this bad boy. Um, again, this is the Lido Decor interior and exterior. It is a gorgeous coach. This is Tom and Mary's uh, dream come true. I'll see them later on this month. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. If I can help get you on the road in a fantastic Essex and you'd like to have something like this made for you, give me a call. Again, my name is Katie O'Neill. I'm at 303-562-8659. Again, 303-562-8659. And if you're looking for Y buys for different levels and what the differentiation is, I've got tons of information. Let me know how I can help you get on the road and camping. Thanks so much.